actually I was editing a video yes for you all only but then suddenly I realized this Navratri time and I have received many requests and messages regarding how to do it and what to eat and what not to eat people are totally confused while following the keto or low carb diet so here I have come trying to solve all your queries hello and welcome to magic in my food this is Jyoti Dhania you know Navratri is pending from tomorrow and so I would love to share what you can have I am not going to share what you can't because that is a long list and why should we go into it because the list of having is very small but it's interesting and I am going to show you or tell you how to eat those foods interestingly also because you know you are on keto so you can enjoy with lots of healthy fats which is mostly people do while fasting and they don't lose weight but while doing keto navratri fasting you can easily lose weight by eating healthy fats so let us start with what you can have so let us start with the vegetables See, you can have bottle goat, that is the goat family. You can have bottle goat, pumpkins, you can have uh, uh, ash goat, that is called the winter goat, or the white goat, that is the peta. You can have cucumber, you can have all green leafy vegetables, be it spinach, be it fenugreek leaves, be it coriander leaves. Obviously, you can't have spring onions, don't go for it because you're not allowed to have onions and garlic. So no greens, onions or green garlic but yes you can have mustard leaves, all type of leaves are allowed whether it's kale or lettuce you can have easy, you can inculcate that in your diet. So now let us talk about the flowers, yes you must be thinking flowers and that on keto, obvious you are going to have the nuts and seed flowers. So you can have the nuts like almond, walnuts, peanuts, pecans, brazil nuts, seeds like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds and melon seeds. So automatically you can have these nuts and seeds as your flower even and you can make lovely dishes out of it and you know it where to visit you can simply visit my description box below to find all interesting recipes which you can eat while following the navratri keto fasting yes that is the uh, that is our main aim so now let's talk about the oil yes you are going to have healthy oils ghee is allowed then your olive oil is allowed coconut oil is allowed butter is allowed Use butter either homemade or you can use butter which is uh, without the salt because you are not sure what salt is used in the butter. So use unsalted butter in it. And now let's talk about the spices. Limited spices are allowed but never the matter. We are not bothered because in keto we know there are so many restrictions but then also the life is too good to enjoy. So in keto we can have or in uh, this Navratri fasting you know we can have cumin seeds, cumin powder, coriander powder, coriander seeds, we can have cardamom seeds and I forgot you can have curries. So if you are making any interesting recipes like uh, coconut chutney you can use curry leaves in it and see uh, regarding the spices you know we cannot use turmeric I am telling you not to use even right now so we cannot use mustard seeds and uh, turmeric in it but we have good amount of uh, you know cumin seed is, seed is very good for health and you can use carom seeds even fennel seeds even black pepper seeds or black pepper powder you can also use now uh, herbs you can use all the herbs yes that is 
excluding the garlic and the onion herb you can use all type of herbs in it and now let's talk about the uh, what would you say yes you should drink lots of water yes because see while on fasting you need to keep yourself hydrated because what happens you are not having in the morning or in the night having one meal better to have lots of water in the form of green tea black tea lemon water that is allowed so you can have ginger water even that is also allowed and you can have a black coffee so you can begin your day with bulletproof coffee even with ghee butter oil whatever you prefer that is your unsalted butter and talking about salt yes we are going, we are we can use the or actually we are using rock salt so we don't worry about it about using that normal salt because we are using the rock salt so you can use we are consuming the healthy salt so nothing to bother about it so now let's talk about what how to follow it like in the morning i'll share a day's bean like in the morning you can have your bulletproof coffee if you are hungry you can make a smoothie i have recipes like strawberry smoothies nowadays the strawberries ah uh, i remember about fruits yes what fruits you can have well on keto you know you can have berries strawberries raspberries blueberries nowadays you get the compote form even you can and uh, many of them have started freezing strawberries blueberries and all then also you can use that and you can use uh, what do you say star fruit that is easily available during summer so you can use that you can make uh, mojitos lemon and uh, mint and enjoy the summer heat with mojitos so now let's talk about so i wanted to share a day's menu with you that is what you can have throughout the day so if you begin your breakfast with a bulletproof coffee that's well and good that is perfectly fine but if you are if you feel hungry you can have a smoothie add some strawberries or any of your favorite food fruit sorry and some cottage cheese goes into it and some vanilla essence and uh, would you say your stevia sugar free yes all sugar free is allowed but you have to use the healthy natural sugar free like stevia swerve erythritol monk fruit these are your healthy sweeteners so use that and uh, you can make smoothies out of it you can have chia seed smoothie you can have chia seed porridge even so after this you can uh, very well your breakfast is sorted out and you for your lunch you can make keto palak paneer you can make methi malai paneer you can make mixed vegetables like your bottle gourd i know there is a limitation but still you can mix uh, would you say bottle gourd and pumpkin and you can add some uh, paneer into it and enjoy the stir fry vegetables even you can have this with the rotis tortillas made out of your nuts and seed flours or you can make hash browns you can make medu vada you can make idlis all of these are allowed because coconut in any form is allowed yeah, either you have it as a coconut flour desiccated coconut or fresh coconut you can easily enjoy you can have keto dosa because life is sorted when you can have dosa i know this much so keto dosa you can have yes you can have cheese cheese is totally allowed in your keto navratri fasting so you can enjoy keto dosa with it and talking about cheese then you can have cheese eggless omelets yes you can just bake it on your parchment sheet in the oven or you can bake it on your non stick pan sprinkle some vegetables like uh, shredded uh, pumpkins or bottle gourd and you can easily enjoy with lovely spices or herbs and uh, uh, i told i told you you can have a handvo you can have sheep kebab but only thing the recipes are there if i have added some onion or garlic or turmeric or mustard seeds totally avoid them and use the ingredients which i have earlier mentioned that is your the spices or the vegetables you can have cheesy pasta without the onion and garlic so 
this way you can make your lunch or dinner whichever meal you are having as a delicious keto meal and lastly you can enjoy awesome sweets in it yes you can make keto halwa like your potty wood halwa almond halwa you can make rasogullas gulab jamun gond ke laddu obviously you can make gond ke mixtures even that is sweet one or the savory one nut mixtures you can make and talking about the desserts you can make mug cake obvious i'm talking i'm a vegetarian so i basically i i i have all the recipes are mine are all egg free so there's no tension of the eggs even so you can enjoy there are lots and lots of desserts i think so i must be having tons of uh, desserts recipes yes all keto and low carb so you can easily enjoy those and for those skinny mini hungers you can prepare and keep some snacks like crackers you can keep that mixtures like gujia you can prepare and store it you can prepare the nut mixture the cookies you can prepare all those you can store that so whenever you feel a bit hung- hungry you can literally munch on these so you see your keto navratri fasting is totally sorted yes and below i am going to provide the link where you can search all these recipes some of the recipes may have the ingredients which are not navratri would you say uh, which are not uh, according to the navratri fasting ingredients just remove them like onion garlic i said mustard seeds turmeric just remove them and enjoy because paneer cheese these are allowed greek yogurt is allowed so your life is sorted by following the keto navratri fasting so i think so i i must have solved almost all your queries but if you have more queries do post it below in the comment section and i am surely going to answer those thank you and also one more thing another delicious just tell me which is the most interesting normal navratri recipe which you all miss while following this keto diet just write it in the comment section because on thursday not on friday basically i post recipe on friday but today or this time is going to be keto thursday i'm going to post an awesome delicious navratri recipe which you are going to love it and one more thing i forgot to say you can i know you can shuffle through my video links and get hold of the keto halwa puri which you can prepare and offer to the goddess durga and enjoy the festive spirit yes halwa puri who doesn't miss keto halwa puri which i have prepared i think so almost 2 years back and you can literally have a beautiful halwa puri in a keto style so once again thanks for being a part or playing a part in my journey obvious on my keto journey also and also me playing a role in your keto journey thanks at that